All right, guys, chapter four, section two, angles of triangles. Obviously, each triangle has three angles, and yesterday we classified them by their angles. Now we're going to talk about their actual values. All of the triangles, and let's get a, uh, let's get a good triangle up here. And I'm going to label these angle one, angle two, and angle three. The triangle sum theorem, S-U-M, just states that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3, because it's a triangle, are going to equal 180 degrees. So all three angles of a triangle added up equal 180 degrees. Now that makes sense because if you took the opposite of this triangle, or if you flipped this over, reflected it, and made it into a square, the square would be 360 degrees, and we know that a triangle is half of a square or half of a rectangle or half of a quadrilateral, depending on how you look at it. So it will have half of the sum measure. So again, 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 180. So if over here at its basic form, if I told you that angle 1 was 90 degrees and angle 2 was 45 degrees, and I wanted you to find angle 3, we would just take 90 plus 45, and then we would let this be an unknown. Okay, and so when we add that together, we're going to 135 plus x equals 180. So I'm going to subtract 135 from both sides. So at the end of the problem, I get a missing angle of 45 degrees. Now, most of you could have figured that out because 45 is half of 90, and 90 plus 90 is 180, so I know the missing angle has to be 45. Now, both of those angles are the same, so I'm going to actually do a little bit of erasing here. And I'm going to put my 45s in there. Oh, I forgot to erase my angle 1, which is 90. So we could classify this triangle. This is a right triangle. And because two of the angles are equal, that means two of the sides are equal. So it is a right isosceles. Okay, so if you had to classify that triangle, it would be a right isosceles. Now, that's the interior angles. We also have what's called an exterior angle. And so I'm going to take I'm going to take this triangle right here and I'm going to label these angles as 1, 2, and 3. We have what's called an exterior angle theorem. Okay, an exterior angle theorem. And what it states is if I create an exterior angle right here, let's call this angle 4 because it's on the outside of the triangle. The exterior angle theorem says the two angles that are not connected with that 4, if I add them together, so angle 2 plus angle 3, that's going to equal angle 4. Okay. So angle 2 plus angle 3 are going to equal angle 4. And they're going to do some different problems to, to get you to um, use that and try to figure out what the missing angle is. So let's go ahead and set one of those up. Okay, let's take a look at this problem. I'll give you a second just to uh, to go ahead and draw that. So I'll pause for just a second. And, and then what we're going to do, actually, let me go ahead and tell you this. What I want you to do is find all of the missing angles. So let's call this angle 1. And that's angle 2, obviously angle 3. So angle 1, we don't know. Angle 2, we don't know. 
angle 3, we do know, and that's 32 degrees. Okay, so I want you to find those missing angles. Okay, I'll go ahead and put that on pause. Okay, now we're back. Let's use the exterior angle theorem to find this. So I'm going to take angle 2. Well, I want to keep this uniform because I've been drawing it that way. Okay, angle 2 plus 32 equals 112. So I'm going to subtract 32. And that gives me angle 2, a measure of 80 degrees. Now, there's two ways I can find out what angle 1 is. I can notice that angle 1 and 112 are supplementary. And so that would give me a degree of 68. I could also take 80 plus 32, which is going to give me 112. And subtract that from 180, which is basically what I just did. And that gives me a total of 68 degrees. Okay, so two things we're using today. The angle sum theorem, which is all angles added together in a triangle equal 180 degrees. And also the exterior angle sum theorem, which means the opposite angles added together equal the exterior angle. So that's what we'll use today, about six and a half minutes. That is chapter four, section two, angles of triangles.